I'm ready to drive over the road. Like, it's a whole other experience. No, I think I got it after doing that. Um, what's it called? The simulator. Okay. Like, I think I I got it figured out now. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, <laughs> Just you got kidding. it all figured out. <laughs> We got it! Yeah. 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 So how long has it been since you've played softball today? Never. You've never played never. this? <laughs> never, not once? Marching bands. Wow, you did really good then. I have worked with some amazing drivers over the years, and even though I will only be able to experience a small part of it, I want to better understand the challenges that are endured while living a life on the road. Okay, Cotton, are we taking this to um, like a mattress place? What do no, they do No, we're with taking it? it to Calcott. What, um, what Calcott does is they take it off of our trailers, they'll store it there, and then they'll load it on the port trailers. Oh, and it's it going shipped. overseas to China? I don't know where it ends up, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm but this isn't a port enough. load. They just do port their own. No, they transfer it there. Themselves. Do we then haul it on one of our containers over? Do you know? Um, I that would be like I'm not sure, department. but I think we do. Yeah. I've seen our port guys there before. Hmm. Do they have to take take some of the cotton out then? It's nope. just the whole thing goes over. Yep, because it's all it's all in the bags. Yeah. We just oh, can't yeah. load it into the port containers at the gym. Why? Our instructions are we can either load it on a drive van trailer or a reefer trailer, but not a port trailer. A brand new Kenworth coming in. Are you jealous? I am. I was supposed to get one. Really? You don't get one, you're local. Exactly. I'm just kidding. No, that's the exact reason it? why. I went local, so I'm keeping this truck. You don't get all the fancy things. It's oh, okay. he is hugging the right real close. Why? Pothole. Oh. Like that. <laughs> nice timing. This road is notorious for yeah, do you think that they redo it and then it just gets terrible again because of all the weight that runs through here? I don't know if they've ever redone it. Uh -oh. It's all patchwork, you can see. Yeah. They've repaired them, but... It's not the same. How many trucks come on are coming down this road today with the yeah. roofing company here? We got Domino's right here. That's an old truck. An old Freightliner. Oh, and an old night thing. Ready to drive over the road, like it's a whole other experience. No, I think I got it after doing that. Um, what's it called? The simulator. Okay. Like I think I I got it figured out now. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, <laughs> Just you got kidding. it all figured out. <laughs> <laughs> like that turn, how you went wide like that. I I knew that already. Honestly, so when I was in Ireland, the road. The lanes are so small. You obviously, you drive on the other side of the road. The driver sits on the other side of the truck. And there were obviously truck drivers there, like moving freight around they their, all use their cab island. Overs. Yes, they did. I don't, so cab the overs are island have... itself is so small, you don't even need a sleeper berth. No, you really don't. But you know, and cab overs are gonna have a better turn radius than oh, these yeah. style trucks. That's true, because they're shorter. Right. Because the very front of the truck is the wheels. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. So you're not going to have to have, you don't have a big nose sticking out like mm -hmm. we do. Yeah. Well, they have no room to navigate there. Their roads are just so tiny. So that's good that they use that. Oh, my heavens. How long have you been at night now? Let's see. Uh, my one year solo will be April 11th. Uh, Did you I started through Squire in February of last year. Oh, nice. Who hired you? Emily. CDL school. Okay. Yep. How cool. How was the CDL program? It was awesome. Yeah. So you did um, CDL school with us. Why did you choose to come to our CDL program? All the research I did. Really? Um, the night had the better deal yeah. as far as the repayment program went. Yeah. Um, just the reviews for night were much better than the other companies. Where did you look at the reviews? Everywhere. Yeah. I spent a good two weeks doing all my research. Did you look at like YouTube videos as well I as did. like Google reviews and Facebook reviews? I did. 
That's cool. That makes me feel good. I'm one that does research for everything. Yeah, that's so. good. That's what my dad always is. That's what I picked up from that. I mean, it's a big decision, like deciding where you're going to get your CDL. Good heavens. Did you have any regrets um, with your decision? No. no. I love the company. I mean, it's uh, especially the team that I'm on. There's a great team. They've taken care of me and my family, and they've yeah. been there when I needed them. And Who's your favorite person on the team? Uh, Joe's been Joe Stefani has been my DM pretty much the entire time. Yeah. Uh, Wait, even when you were Squire, or yeah, yeah. my trainer um, Steve Higby had Joe as his DM. Higby, that. So sounds I weird. went from having Joe as our DM, being with Steve, and then Joe was my DM when I got off Steve's truck. Oh. So you started over the road when you did Squire when you were with a trainer. You were over the road. Yes. And then. And then I started doing um, SoCal turns. Okay. Going to LA and back, and then. How often really, did you get home with that one? I was home almost every week. Oh. Um, and even more so, right? Like during the week. Yeah, I'd, I'd steal a night at home because you know I live four miles from the yard. Oh, nice. So if That's I was convenient. delivering a load, I'd stay here a night and go yeah. home and head That's out the next cool. morning and. Go see your wife and baby. Yeah. Baby girl. Um, so then when you talked to them about wanting to go back to school, then they worked with you on doing something local so yeah. that you could do both? Yeah, and they were very good because of what I'm going to school for is there's a position here at night for it. What? I'm going for IT. Oh, yes, we have so a lot of that. So they, they were doing everything they can to keep me here. That's cool. And I didn't want to leave to begin with. Yeah. But I knew I couldn't do over the road while trying to get my degree at the same time. Yeah, it would be hard. Because, you know, the internet's not always a guaranteed thing out there. And yeah. Truck stops, yeah, you usually have to pay for it. Are you doing um, online? I am. Or do you have any in-person classes? Uh, all online for now. Cool. Are you using your GI Bill? Or did you already use that? Because you're military. Yeah, no, I'm not using the GI Bill. No. So you've been a year. What's your favorite part about night so far? That I can truly walk into the office and people know who I am. Yeah. You're not, I mean, it's, you see the signs and everywhere it says you're not a number and it's actually true. Yeah, that's cool. It's the tr it's hard to convey that because every other trucking company says that too. They do. Like in all of their advertising and stuff. Oh no. <laughs> Scrubbing off the graffiti. <laughs> Yep. Good heavens. That's cool. Let's see how interesting this gets here. Why? There's a spring training stadium up here. Nice. Uh, I think the Milwaukee Brewers play up here. Oh, I, I, up I here? In this vicinity? There are a ton of teams in town right now. Yeah. And Sonny, my uncle, usually flies in every year yeah. about this time since he's retired now mm -hmm. to go to different spring training games. It's so funny. He's actually not doing it this year, though, so I find weird. Oh, really? Why not? Uh, he just had another grandbaby. Oh. So he's probably too caught up in that. Where does he live? He lives in right outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, but on mm -hmm. the other side of the border in Indiana. Oh. I don't it's... remember the name of the city that he's actually in, but it's on the, on the outskirts of Cincinnati. Mm. He was, a, he was a doctor in Cincinnati. Oh, nice. What kind? Uh, he's a pathologist. Is that a blood doctor? So Pathology? they are the ones that... They're more of a... They, they read all the different tests. Oh. And interpret like them analyze. better. Yeah. So... That's cool. Uh, there's a one of the big, the, the more famous pathologists right now is the guy that discovered CTE in football. It's the head injuries. Oh yeah, yeah. And the, he's a pathologist, and that's kind of along the same line. They do yeah. the that's. So it's a very investigative type of medicine, which all medicine is. But yeah, that's for sure. That would be a fun job. I love interpreting data, so that would be right up my alley. I usually have family from Illinois that comes in too for the games. I feel like it's all people from the Midwest. I mean, the, the weather there is usually pretty terrible, so. 
that. This is where the rivers play right Holy here. Holy smokes, lots of people. So that's where everyone's turning in. Look here at this to cluster. <laughs> Family Services Center. Is this a nice facility? I've never been to this facility actually. Um, look at these lurkers on the other side of the fence. That's funny. Yeah, trying to watch the game. <laughs> Um, although it's not, that's not the actual part where the game's being played. I haven't. I think I've been to one spring training game, and I was born and raised here. So oh, I grew up down the street from the Cubs spring training facility. Their old you one, never oh, went? Oh, and I went to that one all the time. Oh, you did? Okay. All the time. And when I was growing up, a lot more t uh, teams played down in Tucson as well. Oh. Uh, the Diamondbacks were down in Tucson. Um, so I never went to Diamondbacks games unless they were playing the Cubs here. At Why would they go somewhere else to do training? Spring training is done in two locations. Oh. It's done here and it's done in Florida. Oh. So all the teams travel, except That's for the Diamondbacks. Huh. So they just travel from Chase, and then no games are played at Chase Field. Why? So they don't mess up the grass? Well, it's not even grass anymore, so now they just put an asterisk. Sure. So, but it's... It's kind of just the history of the game where spring training is always played in an outdoor facility and so it's always better weather. And, you know, who wants to play baseball at Wrigley Field right now? Mm hmm. Or you could play at Sloan Kings Stadium in Dolphins. Mesa. Oh. Um, it doesn't get cold enough here to need to go somewhere else for spring training. Right. I don't feel. <laughs> so, and there's two different spring training leagues. There's. I could be very wrong about this because I don't remember, but I think the one in Florida is called the Grapefruit League. Mm, mm. And the uh, one here is called the Cactus League. Very fitting. Yes, we have a lot of cactus. But it's... I remember as a kid, and this is going to sound horrible, but I'd skip school with my family some days and we'd go watch a spring training game. Yeah. Because they're always done at like one in the afternoon. Yeah. Sounds responsible. Oh, it's also... Years ago, I think it's okay. I think every parent has okay. Most parents have probably allowed their children to miss school at oh, some yeah. point or another for well, not they, a good reason. Especially if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go to Disneyland now, you got to do it during school season, like in the middle of the week. Otherwise, you're gonna pay a fortune and wait oh. horrible lines. Is it bad that I don't want to go to Disneyland ever again? Uh, this is a very weird facility. Oh yeah. It's very open. It looks like an old Air Force base it or does. something. And this is actually, they used to have a lot more of these buildings and you'll see where they used to be. This is weird. Is it the hole down there? Oh yeah. Why is there a water tower? I don't know. What are we doing? We have to scale in and scale out. Oh. What's this next door? Where are we going now? Following the arrows on the pavement. In a circle? Yep. So then I'll go park and I'll go take the paperwork up to the window. Follow the yellow they will brick road. Stamp it. They keep a copy, I'll keep two. And then I go back and they'll unload us and I give that guy one copy and I keep a copy. Let's go. Alright, so I my paperwork. Since we don't have that other load, we, we could go drop this empty and then we're bobtail. So we're scaling out? Yep, scaling out. They'll record that and that's what they'll send in for the billing. Oh, the difference? Yep. So we were 77, 78,000? Yes, right 78, around there? Yeah. Like 78, 7. And that's what I was reading off before in my mirror. That red sign? Yep. Yeah. That's our gross weight. So it was 43,000 pounds almost even. Um, it's up to you if you want to go back to drop the trailer and then grab something. 
If we can find something on the way, that's fine, but I don't know if we'll be, we'll, where we'll be able to park. All right, we'll go drop it. All right, now we finally have a window to get out of here. To, uh, we flew into Dublin and we booked the whole trip through this website called europeandestinations.com. Did you do the Guinness Brewery? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. say, if you didn't go to, if you went to Ireland, you didn't do the Guinness Brewery, did you really go to Ireland? I mean, it was so, it wasn't my favorite thing, I'm gonna be honest with you. Guinness is not my favorite beer either, um, but they did say that the Guinness in Ireland is different than the Guinness throughout the country, well, throughout the world, because um, they put formaldehyde in it when they ship it over for a preservative, which is so disgusting. Um, so I had a pint of Guinness that I poured myself uh, at the Guinness factory when we were in Dublin. It was cool. The day that we spent in Dublin, I think we walked like 15 miles or something. Ooh. Because um, everything, it's just easier to walk there right. to get around. Uh, we went to see castles, like Dublin Castle, cathedrals. I think St. Patrick's Cathedral was one of them. Um, there's just so much good food there. And the brown bread, they serve brown bread with like everything. And it's basically just like Irish soda bread, like made with baking soda instead of yeast. And it's so dense and heavenly. Um, then after Dublin, we went to a place called Ennis, and we drove, we stayed there for two nights, and had really, really good uh, Italian food. Um, it was just very proper, like, they're influenced heavily by London, because it's like an hour flight, and um, they do a lot of teas, and like tea time. Mm -hmm. And so much Nutella, which is the best. I've actually best never thing had Nutella. Ever. Oh my gosh. Why? Who raised you, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't never have. A, a, it's a so good. Peanut butter family, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, my mom never bought Nutella when I was younger. It's a bit bougie, not gonna lie. What? <laughs> If you, when you buy Nutella at Costco, it's cheaper than peanut butter is. Oh, is it really? Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's I because suppose. It's, it's because it's a fad thing now. I mean, it's... That's true. It's so good. It's so bad for you, though. See, I'm a firm believer if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's, you need to butter? try Nutella. Like, peanut butter is not even in the same category as Nutella. Where's their truck parking? I feel your pain right now with not being able to eat wherever. That never don't crosses my that. mind, like if my vehicle will fit in the parking lot. Sizzler! Haven't seen one of those in a while. Right? Wow. We go in Sizzler. What? Remember that white man can't jump? Nope. Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson? Nope. <laughs> Oh, they made a big deal about it. Do you know what he's talking about? I do know what he's Don't talking about. Don't admit it. Say no. <laughs> we can then say that he's just old and we're too young to know what he's talking about. No, it's a cool thing, Tiffany. Cool <laughs> people know. It was a 90s movie. I mean, it's not that old. You weren't born yet. I was. Oh, when were you born? 91. Oh, you weren't born yet. You're the same age as my little brother. Oh, how cute. So, I have an SUV, mm -hmm. like a small one, mm -hmm. and I really like to go off-roading. Okay. I and really enjoy it. Okay. My SUV is all-wheel drive, it's not four-wheel drive. Okay. And the ground, the clearance is not very high. Okay. So I was at the lake, at Lake Pleasant, in the back of the lake, and with my dogs, and we were driving along on the dirt road, and there was a boulder, and I thought that we had plenty of clearance. And you didn't. And it stopped us. 
like dead in our tracks like I hit a wall it just stopped us and my dogs like went flying forward and um, I think because the ground on either side of the rock was soft so I like yeah, sink in a little bit yeah, yeah. Um, so I everything was like the car drove okay and then four days five days later my fuel pump went out which like that has nothing to do with what stopped me, you know, like very separate issues, I think anyways. <laughs> so, um, my car is still at the shop because the fuel pump is on back order, but, um. It depends on where your fuel pump is located. It's in the back, on the driver's side. Well, I'm pretty sure. Because there's two different kinds of fuel pumps. There's ones that are actually in your fuel tank, and then there's fuel pumps that are actually located up near the engine. Oh. That it works kind of like a vacuum system oh. where it pulls fuel, so it, it just depends. Oh. Well, I don't know. Oh, I'm not nice, sure. Dude. I don't think that's a road. It's not. Um. So I had my older brother look under the undercarriage part, and he told me that. Okay, so you know the metal bit that holds the engine up. Mm -hmm. Well, I broke it. Um, I can't I have pictures, but I like crumpled the metal, not enough to where it like completely pushed the whole like metal uh -huh. bit back, but it like crumpled the metal. Is that bad? So depends. I'd have to see it to know for sure. Because, but if can that affect the body of the car? Most likely no. Okay. So it's hard to say for sure. That was probably really boring for everybody to listen. <laughs> Steve sleeping back there? Yeah, Steve fell asleep. <laughs> Are we there yet? I'm so hungry. I'm unintentionally doing intermittent fasting today. The things you have done to come get this delicious Mexican food, sir. <laughs> I have no idea. Did you think it good? I was translating some of the stuff because I don't know what it means. Like costillas. What are you getting, sir? I'm getting the tamales. Yeah. They have it in their name, they gotta be good. Hey, Katie, what baseball match? And then, um, I'll kind of just, uh, it's kind of just easy, so I'll get a swipe card and just swipe it. So, like, I'll give you a swipe card to hit start hitting and then hit baseball. So if it's softball, do you want slow pitch? Yeah, okay. Okay, so when she's hitting, you'll hit slow pitch. And then it's baseball. So let's say you pick baseball. You'll pick middle, okay? And then what'll happen, this will turn purple, and then someone will push it for you, and then you're ready to go. The general rule is you want to be able to kind of touch the other corner of the plate. The left hand's going to go on the bottom, and you're going to put your right hand on top of it. Line your knuckles up. I'm kind of just find what's comfortable. And watch the ball coming out all the way to your back. Would you keep your elbows up? So, nice swing. I keep my left elbow up, my arm down, my right one down. There you go. Step back towards us in just one step. We got it! Yeah. So how long has it been since you've played softball, Tiffany? Never. You've never played never. those? <laughs> never, not once? Marching band. Wow, you did really good then. You did awesome.
Yeah, she did really awesome. She's never done this before. I thought she's done this like a lot. I don't know this game. If you've liked this episode, please subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications.